All right guys, so Wubin has recently released a few new lights that I wanted to give you guys a quick look at, including the XO, which is an EDC friendly L-shaped light, the X1, which is a high output dual 21700 cell flat design light, and the X2, which is another flat style and much more pocket carry friendly design. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at each one and checking out some beam shots. But before we dive in, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new here. The XO Knight is the most pocket carry friendly of the lights in the lineup, and this one is black, but there are a handful of other really great looking color options available. And has a very robust pocket clip, which is not something you typically see on lights this size, which gives you a lot of options when it comes to carry. And they also give the XO a very interesting wide flat switch design, with seven preset modes, which you can also flip up to access the USB-C charging port. There's also a battery life indicator, which glows to let you know the remaining battery life. The tail is also magnetic, which is a convenient feature. And at first glance, I did think that the battery was built in, but I was pleasantly surprised to discover that you can in fact remove and replace the 18350 battery by unscrewing the tail cap. The version we've got here is the Austrian P9, but you can also pick it up with a Samsung LH351D emitter. And this version has a max output of 1100 lumens, a max beam throw distance of 125 meters, and a peak intensity of 3920 candela. What really jumps out to me here is the ultra wide beam angle, which comes in right around 175 degrees. And basically this light is really well designed for illuminating large and relatively up close areas, which would make it ideal for walking through more dense environments because as long as you keep the light pointed forward, you'll be able to see where you're walking and also things to the left, right, and center. It also has a 50 lumen min mode, which is gonna give you about 15 hours of runtime. And this would be a good mode if you need to be able to rely on the light for a few consecutive nights of use. The moonlight mode on this light is not bad either, coming in right around one lumen with a 130 hour runtime, which is a little over five days. Now we're gonna take a massive leap up in size to the X1. And this one they've nicknamed the Falcon. And the version we've got here is the beautiful white with micro arc oxidation, but you can also pick it up in black. It's quite a chunky and hefty light. And there's two 2100 cells in this light, which are replaceable. And you can charge the light with the USB-C port in about two hours. There's a single metal side switch, which gives you access to five primary output modes, as well as strobe and SOS. And Wubin also added an active cooling system with a built-in waterproof fan. And this will turn the light on automatically to help dissipate heat when the light gets too hot. So it can operate at higher outputs for longer periods of time. The smooth bezel is black, which provides a nice bit of contrast. And it has a glass lens and has three Cree 70.2 emitters with orange peel reflectors. The X1 is capable of producing 12,000 lumens with a peak intensity of 23,000 candela and a max throw distance of 303 meters. The color temperature is on the cooler side coming in right around 6,000 K. And as you can see, the output is incredibly high and the beam angle has a very wide floodlight style and there's no real hotspot here. If you find yourself in situations where you need tons of output, this light definitely handles itself quite well. And another great thing about this light is it can also run at a constant 3000 lumens for 1.7 hours after dropping down from 12,000, which is a feat that only a handful of lights in the world are capable of. Here's a look at the 1000 lumen mid mode and it should be able to run on this output for about 5.5 hours. It also has a 20 lumen eco mode, which is gonna be able to run for 220 hours. Finally, we have the X2 Owl, which is kind of like a micro size version of the X1. And here we have it in black, but you can also pick it up in white and titanium. It's another flat style design running on two 14500s, and you can access USB-C charging by lifting the switch cover, which is the same design as the X0. And it gives you four programmable primary output modes, as well as a strobe and OSOS. There's a nice robust removable pocket clip, which would also work well on a belt. And overall it offers higher outputs and longer run times compared to the X0 while still being relatively pocket carry friendly. Like the X1, we've got three emitters in a row with orange peel reflectors. And like the X0, this version has Osram P9, but you can also pick it up with Samsung LH351Ds. This light has a max output of 2500 lumens, which is very impressive considering its size, and a max throw distance of 146 meters with 5300 candela. Again, we're dealing with a very soft wide angle flood style beam pattern, which is gonna excel at close range use and be perfect for walking or hiking. And will drop down from 2500 to 800 over the course of about a minute, where it will be able to run for about an hour longer. There's also a 100 lumen pre-program mode, which will run for about 10 hours, which is great if you need something to last through the night. And there's also a five lumen eco mode, which will run for about 100 hours, which is ideal if you need light for an extended period of time. 
Anyways, I'm really liking the flat style form factor and have quite a collection building up. And another comparison video with flat light is in the works, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. If you want to learn more about the X0, X1, or X2, you can find links down below, which will also help my channel.